Hello everybody, today we're going to take a quick look at the latest Marvel movie by way of Sony Pictures, Venom. Directed by Ruben Fleischer and starring Tom Hardy and a CGI character with a crunchy Tom Hardy center. Hardy plays Eddie Brock, a journalist working for this movie's version of CNN, and he appears to specialize in exposing cover-ups. One day, he tries to expose Mr. Carlton Drake, played by Riz Ahmed, head of the Life Foundation, and he completely fucks it up and gets fired. Not only that, but his girlfriend, played by Michelle Williams, leaves him because his dumbass actions got her fired as well, and she understandably wasn't too happy about that. And after six months of unemployment, he appears to have hit rock bottom. But then, through a wacky turn of events, he ends up bonding with an alien symbiote that calls itself Venom. And then it gets weird. And a bit silly. So I had a feeling I was not going to like this one because, for one thing, the reviews were not looking too good, and also, this movie does not start out well. In fact, it starts out pretty bad. We start out with Mr. Eddie Brock in San Francisco, and I'm not sure how he's going to tie into the Spideyverse when Spidey is in New York City, and that's on the opposite friggin' end of the country, but that's the least of this movie's problems. Brock is somehow an on-camera reporter for a major cable news network, and yet he is allowed to work in jeans and a t-shirt, which seems unlikely. Did Hardy just refuse to wear a suit for this movie? I just, what the hell? It didn't seem like Hardy was putting forth much of an effort in general for the first half hour or so. It just seemed to me like he really was not feeling it. And Carlton Drake is a really badly written villain. There is this scene where they have started human trials with the symbiote, and one of their first victims, uh, volunteers, is a man named Isaac which prompts Mr. Drake to go on this bizarre tangent about the biblical story of Isaac and Abraham and about how much he values Isaac's sacrifice. Now, like I said in the Inchon video, it has been a good long while since I've been to Sunday school, but I do not recall Isaac being a willing participant in that story. I do not remember Abraham saying, hey Isaac, we're gonna go up this hill and I'm gonna kill your ass. And Isaac was like, okay, that's cool, dad. No, that's not how it went down. Isaac sacri- What in God's holy name are you talking about, fool? So by the time we got to that point, I was fully prepared to just check out and write this movie off. Like, this is going to absolutely suck. But then something happened. What happened was, through that aforementioned wacky turn of events, Venom bonds with Brock, and the movie then goes in a very different direction. Hardy suddenly appeared to be giving a shit. Dare I say he was actually having fun. And the movie takes on a much more comedic tone, and I do mean intentional comedy. Like, they were actually trying to be funny, and more often than not, succeeding. This version of Venom is a very silly creature, and has some downright bizarre lines. There's a moment that really stands out where he just looks Eddie Brock in the eye and says, You're a loser, Eddie. Which is... A silly enough line on its own, but for some reason, it sounded so much like Hagrid saying, You're a wizard, Harry, and that just made me lose it. I just, I love that line so much. And I may be way off the mark here, but it almost seems like the people making this movie suddenly realized they were making a bad movie and decided, You know what? Fuck it. If we're gonna make a bad movie, let's just have fun with it. And it kind of worked. And while some of the lines worked better than others, overall, I kind of dug Silly Venom. He had some really good moments as this disembodied voice inside Eddie Brock's head. There's a scene where Eddie breaks into his former boss's office at the news network, and after he finds what he's looking for in there, he looks out the window, and then the voice says, Jump! and he just gets this look of fear on his face as the camera zooms in, and then jump cut to him pushing the button on the elevator. And the voice says, PUSSY! Just, I, I really like this character. I will say I liked his personality more than his appearance, cause... 
He really doesn't look that good, and it's not that the CGI is badly done, it's just the design. It's... Th this character doesn't look all that frightening, even without that internet meme that was going around with the googly eyes. Just even by itself, it's just... it's not that scary. That moment in one of the trailers where he's going, Mmm, heart, liver, pancreas? So many tasty organs, so little time. And I'm thinking, no, dude, you're not threatening. You're, you're just, you're not. Just stop. And the PG-13 rating did not help this movie at all. I'm pretty sure the people who made it were going for an R, but then the studio said, nope, you gotta make it PG-13. And that was a mistake. There was a moment where Venom bites a dude's head clean off. No blood. There's a moment where another alien symbiote named Riot turns his hands into battle axes, because comics, and slices through an entire room full of people. No blood. Then Eddie Brock gets stabbed in the gut. And that produces a blood stain on his shirt. What? The MPAA has some weird rules. Blood stains? Perfectly fine. Blood splatter? No dice. This is one of those movies where I'm kinda hoping they get to do an R-rated or unrated Blu-ray release, cause it looks like that would be a lot closer to the version of the movie they wanted to make. So the direction they took with this thing was all kinds of bizarre and not at all what I expected, but honestly, I kinda had fun with it. I don't think I would go so far as to call it a good movie, especially since the first act was kinda shit, but it was kind of enjoyable in its own weird way. I don't know if it's worth full price, but probably worth a matinee. And of course, stay for the credits because there is a mid credit scene that sets up a potential sequel with a very interesting cameo. No, not that one. Uh, although he's in the movie too. And the post credit scene is basically just a trailer for the animated Spider-Man movie that's coming out pretty soon, and that looks kind of awesome. I'm looking forward to that. And that's all I have to say about Silly Venom. Until next time, take care.